Now we're gonna go through the advanced diagnostics. In order to access the advanced diagnostics, in the auto window or the manual window, you can hold down all three buttons at the same time. And this will send you into the advanced diagnostics window. Again, like the configuration window, you move up the windows using the hand button. If you wanna go back, hold the hand button, hit the minus button. Now we're gonna go through each configuration and explain the function. Variable one, called strokes. This is the number of strokes that the unit has seen. So at the moment, the one I have here has done 13 strokes. Once you start going past a thousand, it'll also give you a number and then 10 to the power of something to indicate a higher number of strokes. Next, a more accurate way of determining age, changes in direction. This will measure how many times the valve has shifted directions instead of doing one full cycle of open and close. This would be a more practical variable to use for a control valve since they don't usually go full open or full close. Three will be the number of fault messages. So a fault could be anything from low pressure, deviation in signal, low voltages, um, leakages. Uh, so it's counting the number of faults. This particular unit has seen 127 faults. Variable four is for alarm functions. If this had the alarm card, this is where you would see uh, what the alarm functions are. Variable six is hours of operations. This will tell you how many hours the unit has been powered on. Uh, this is the uh, variable eight. This would be determined travel. Uh, this would be the range of travel that the valve has seen. Variable nine is time up. This is the time it takes for the valve to open. Right now you're seeing it's taking 1.4 seconds to open the valve. Variable 10, T down, is the time it takes to close the valve. And we're seeing it at, as 0.5 seconds. Variable 11 is the leakage test, which we could run uh, set leakage test to test if the actuator is leaking. Variable 12 is the partial stroke test. This is where you can um, ad um, adjust and read how many times the partial stroke test has been done. Uh, the setting of the partial stroke test needs to be done in the partial stroke test setup window, which will be in a different video. And uh, this will also tell you when the next partial stroke, stroke test is scheduled. Variable 13 is the time it's been since the last partial stroke test. Variable 15 is the dynamic control valve behavior. Variable 16 is the pneumatic leakage. Vari variable 17 is stiction, which monitors how uh, if the valve is stuck in one position. And that also measures slip jump. This is the lower end stop. Upper end stop is variable 19. Average valve position. Potentiometer value of lower end stop is variable 21. So it's saying the travel stop is holding the valve at 4% open.
pulse length down. And this variable will tell you the milliamp readout that we're receiving. <laughs> 